Welcome to my Cisco's Scaling Network. We're doing lab review, lab 5135, propagating a default route. So, right here, the lab instruction is up. Let's go ahead and hop on R2. Get into our global config mode. Config P. All right, step one wants us to do a static route, so IP route. All right, it's going to be going out serial 010. Zero, zero. That happens to be towards the ISP. We're going to get a it may impact performance. That's all right. Next, we have to propagate this information. So we need to figure out how to get it in our OSPF process. Do show run. What we got to do is we got to get it here underneath router OSPF 1. So we do router OSPF1, we do default information originate, that's it. We give it a few seconds, let's hop over to R1, show IP route, there we go. You have to make sure it's in the right uh, process ID, and if it's not, then it won't work. Next, it wants us to verify uh, connectivity. Let's go ahead and ping PC. So I'm on PC1. Let's go ahead and ping PC2, 172.16.2.2. First time I'm expecting to time out, but the other three I'm expecting to go. There it goes. Ping PC3, ping 168, or 192.168.1.2. Again, I'm expecting the first one to time out. Alright, there it goes. That is this slab in a nutshell. Again, the default. Uh, Default information originate basically just advertises the default uh, routes to the other routers. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.